relationship yeah, at we're all. Friends. I mean, yeah, I mean, we we like hang out. We're, we actually hang out friends. together, you know. Yeah. We're like best friends. We come out. We go out to dinner. I mean, yeah, we'll go to dinner know. tonight after this. And yeah. we'll be hanging out. Yeah, it's you know every two people mix differently. Okay, now let me ask you this: Growing up, it was your favorite band. Dawkins was your favorite band, yeah. and now you're playing with them. What was your favorite song that Dawkins did growing up? Wow, I, you know I don't know that I had one particular favorite. Just pick one. Oh, maybe Tooth and Nail. Okay, yeah. and what is your favorite song to play on stage with them? Uh, I guess tooth and nail. Really? I wanted to see if it was the same one. It's, 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 it's got the big long right. solo. Well, I just want to back up and just uh, so the viewers know that you were actually in that big, huge video hearing aid. What was that like? And I know you were the only one wearing a suit and everyone else was all metaled out. That's why I wear the white suit. That's right. when Ma Ronnie goes, you know, GQ just called on. Because I figured I wear a white sport jacket because I just knew everybody being, it was just, the whole place reeked of leather. But it was a really, you know, that was very peaceful. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a huge debacle. George was there. Mm -hmm. George played. Um, Eric was there. All the BOC Eric guys. Y and T. Well, you know, there was, it was just a who's who of stars. Mm -hmm. And I thought, how are you going to put 25 rock stars, we're all at the peak of our careers, singers, bass players, mm -hmm. drummers, guitar players. It's like ego fest. And I thought, this is going to be a huge debacle. Mm -hmm. But Ronnie just, you know, brought us all in and, you know, did the guitars and with Ingve and all the people and then, then George and and uh, and it all worked out it was for charity mm -hmm. and we had a really great time doing Irvine Meadows we had a, did a huge concert and and raised millions of dollars for uh, children of the night for uh, runaway kids and it's uh that's just uh you know it's, it was the right cause so you guys have performed at Rocklahoma 2007 and 2008 uh, are we going to see you at Rocklahoma this year in 2009 uh, I don't think we're doing 2009. We were so fortunate to do it two years in a row, and we had yeah. wonderful experiences, especially in 2007. Well, now, Don, I have a little uh, special thing for you. I have a, uh, a very big fan of yours that, that sent in a question. His name is Thomas Zolotar, and he actually hmm. wants to know, first off, what is your favorite song uh, to sing? My favorite song to sing right now is from the new album, Lightning Strikes Again, called Stand on the Outside. I like it because it's very Doc and S, but it's... It's new. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I love Alone Again and Breaking the Chains. And But, yeah, do I go crazy singing a song I wrote, you know, 28 years ago? Yeah. No, I'd be like to sleep with the same girl every night. I mean, it just gets Heaven boring. Heaven forbid. But I did promise Thomas he's a an artist, yeah. and he drew this for you. He did? Look at Oh, I got it. Wow. That's, that's what that looks like. Look how pretty. He made me, yeah, that's when I had my androgynous face about 30 years ago. There you go. So, anyway, show the viewers. kind of looks like me when I was, like, 28. Yeah, that's probably where you got it from. Which was, in, that was 1936. 1936. <laughs> but I will put this in my collection. Aww. Thank you very much, because I save all this stuff, because uh, my kids get a big kick, my kids, my grown 21-year-olds get a big kick out of this stuff. <laughs> all right, last question, because we are out of time. What is Don Dawkins' proudest moment ever? One of my, one of my, one of my proudest moments were um, when Mayor Bradley, the late Mayor Bradley of Los Angeles, gave us the keys to the city. Ooh. When was that? Uh, 1988. And why? Um, because I, you know, I was a single guy, didn't have any kids. You know, Thanksgiving comes around and Christmas, nothing to do. So I used to go down to the children's hospital oh. every year and I'd buy a bunch of turkeys and I'd take it down to the cancer kids. And, and it's very selfish because I would just give them my records, of course. Here is a docking record, docking record, docking record. So I'd go down and buy like 50 Walkmans. <laughs> and give everybody, all the kids in the cancer treatment centers and give them docking records and we'd have wheelchair races and, and I would just go down and spend the holidays at, you know, at the children's hospital. And it wasn't about getting brownie points in, in heaven, I just did it because some nurses knew me and they said they'd love you to come down and play guitar and stuff and just kind of hang out with them. And they ratted me out. That and my black belt in Taekwondo, those right are my, two of my favorites, you know. Awesome. We'll be back. I've got musician <laughs> Will Stinner coming up, and he's actually going to perform live for us, so don't go away. Well, that concludes our rockin' interview with Don and John of Dawkin, but don't go away because musician Will Stenner is coming up, and he's going to perform. Get that perfect shot with Barbara Porter Photography. Barbara's innate talent and friendly approach is simply the best. Actors, musicians, that special someone, and pets. Her gift certificates make an excellent gift for anyone. And don't forget those holiday photos and greeting cards, a great idea for any occasion. To view some of her incredible work, visit myspace.com, Barbara Porter Photography, or call 818-347-9472.
And welcome back to Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames and Amber Lake. I am now here with a multi-talented uh, musician and multi-genre artist, Will Stenner. Thanks so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, let's start out with how did you first get involved with music? What made you want to get um, interested? You know, how did you get interested in music? Um, I've always been fascinated when I was a kid, mm -hmm. always. Mom, my mom would be down in the uh, basement playing a lot of Pink Floyd. Oh. And I was just, I'd be right with her listening. Um, one of my favorite songs is Mother from mm -hmm. Pink Floyd. And I just, that song is what made me want to kind of do music. You know, I, mm -hmm. I would, I'd get pots and pans and beat on them. And, and everything I, that was around me, I was tapping. I was always tapping in class and tapping my feet and always thinking of music in my head. Hmm. constantly now this has been a hobby of yours for years and years but all yeah. of a sudden lately which is one of the reasons why we asked you to come on the show you've been getting uh, quite a bit of notoriety you've been getting a radio play where where mm -hmm. um, what are some of the radio stations that have been playing uh, OC rock radio uh, WMMT out in Kentucky uh, KJES in uh, Oklahoma I think that's an internet one though um, also uh, in Texas, all, all over the place. Now, is there a certain song that you've released, or are they just playing a, a variety of your tunes? Two, um, some of them play a variety. Two songs, I'll Do Anything, has been getting a lot of airplay. I've got a lot of spins on that one. Um, Sunrise to Sunrise, recently. I just wrote it a few months ago, and it's already starting to kind of snowball. Well, I've listened to it on MySpace, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And before we, you describe what it's about, actually, why don't you go ahead and give to the viewers your MySpace address? It's uh, www.myspace.com myspace forward slash William Stenner. And you also have a website. My own website, www.williamstenner.com. Okay, so now tell us a little bit about uh, what Sunrise to Sunrise is about. It's about a friend of mine. Her name's Marnie. And uh, she was going through a really hard time, and I would we would meet up at these parties, um, these uh, tribe parties we call them, and I knew about troubles that she was going through. She was really having a hard time, but yet her attitude did not show it. It it just did not affect her, and she just was always a happy person. And for some reason, I just told her I I saw her and I said, you know what? you inspired me to write a song. I'm going to write a song through your inspiration because a lot of us are having a hard time. The economy really stinks and uh, it's just a way to say, you know what, it may be hard but it's not, it's not, not the end of the world. Things, things are still going to be alright. There you go. Now describe in your words what type of music you perform. Uh, Multi-genre I'd say because I do death metal. I've, done, I've been in a death metal band. I've been in a goth band. Um, <gasps> The, st the stuff that I, I'm doing now, I've, I've always done it, but I've really, you know, it just wasn't cool, you mm. know, and I was a teenager and it just wasn't cool enough, but I did it behind the doors. And then finally, you know, people have been saying, why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? And uh, I just brushed it off. And then, uh, you know, I finally, I just, I just started putting stuff out there and doing things and it's kind of taking its snowballed from there yeah it's running and uh, what you're going to do you're going to actually perform for us a song called heat wave and it's a yes. very far cry from death metal yes. um, but i also want to mention to the viewers that you can get your music on cd baby mm -hmm. and also uh it's available on itunes to download it mm -hmm. so without further ado let's go ahead and have you do heat wave <laughs> Wow, that was really something. Thank you so much for doing that for no us problem. today. Now, I just have a couple more questions for you real quick. Um, what, what do you have upcoming? What are your upcoming projects? Um, I got a few songs I'm working on for a few friends of mine. Um, 
just because I like writing songs for friends. I just something. Mm. It's a hobby. I love doing it. Um, I'm planning on doing a small little kind of tour, of Southern California, small shops, you know, acoustic sets here and there. You know what I like about you is that by listening to you, I can tell that you have you like you have a passion and your heart is really in the music. Most musicians, they tell me they're in it for the chicks. But you, <laughs> I really seem to have your heart and soul in it. Now, we're almost out of time. I just want to know, what mm -hmm. is your ultimate goal? Just make people happy. You know, somebody's driving in their car and they pop in my music, say they're having a bad day and kind of changes things up and they, it could take their imagination out of the problems that they're having. I did my job. Want a healthier lifestyle? Feel rejuvenated, slow the aging process, and boost your immunity? Cleanse your body and become super hydrated with Canjin water. Through revolutionary technology, turn your contaminated tap water into great tasting, healthier water, where vitamins and minerals absorb easily. Canjin water helps normalize blood pressure, release excess body fat, and detox with every glass you drink. Visit our website or call 310-714-3154. Change your water, change your life with Canjin water. Well, well, that does it for this edition of Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames and Amber Lake. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'd like to thank our very special rock star celebrity guest, Doc, in for joining us today. And we'd also like to thank our special segment guest, Will Stenner, for coming on today as well. If you'd like to make friends with the show on MySpace, just go to MySpace.com, Denise Ames. And you can hit me up at MySpace.com slash Amber Lake. I'm Amber Lake. And I'm Denise Ames. Thanks for letting us rock your world. <laughs>